Hello artists and crafters. Um, today we're going to be making some holiday earrings and you'll need some UV resin. You'll need some gold and silver foil, gold and silver micro beads, and we're making earrings. So we need some posts. And you'll need the mold, and we're going to be using the small star. And I have some silver chain and some gold chain. Okay, and I have a 36 watt uh, UV LED light to cure the resin. So let's get started. Okay, um, first we're going to do a layer of clear resin, just a thin one in the star. And you might need a tool just to spread it a little bit into corners. And then we'll cure that for um, 60 seconds. And so I'm going to be doing the main star with the gold micro beads and the gold foil and then on the sides of the main star will be two silver stars and that will be the silver micro beads and the silver foil so we'll do the gold first so basically you're going to be doing since it's a pair of earrings you're going to do two gold ones and then four silver ones so you're going to have four silver stars and two gold stars. All right, now that's done curing. So we'll add a little more just to fill up the star. Because the star is very, very, very small. So it doesn't take much. Pop that bubble. Okay, and then now we can start putting in oops, the micro beads. some reason they just don't want to be picked up with that utensil so I'll be using my tweezers Dropped all over the place. Oh, where'd that one go? They're so delicate. And they kind of just take off where they want to. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get um, a couple more in here. And then some gold foil.
Now at this point, if you want to add in a few more beads, you can, such as in the corners. Yeah, you be the judge on how many beads you want, uh, how much foil you want in there. It's all up to you. Okay, so that is the first gold one, and then we're going to cure that for, oh, I'd say 120 seconds, and then I'll let that cure, and I'll be right back. So now that that's done curing for the 120 seconds, um, I'm going to be turning it over and curing it for another 90 seconds on the back just to make sure that everything is cured properly and throughout the whole piece. Because things like, not so much the, the micro beads, but since we put so much of the foil in, it blocks the light from getting through to all of the UV resin so it would be a good idea to also do the the bottom part and you know cure it from that side too most of my pieces I do that I'll cure um, even if even if it's clear I will clear I will cure it um, on top and you know, for whatever seconds I, I choose, and then I'll cure it also on the bottom. And that's usually for like maybe another, anywhere from another 90 seconds to 120 seconds, just to make sure that the resin is cured all the way through. And then once it's done, so has a little bit more to go, and we'll take it out of the um, mold. And if you don't have stars, you can, you know, use circles. Uh, you know, the half, you know, the half um, circle, or you know, whatever you have, uh, diamond shapes, triangle shapes. And there it is. And then we'll just take it out. Now, if you have these little pieces that kind of, you can just clip them off. But there's one gold star. And that's why I have the gold still stuck on my finger, because I'm going to do the second gold star. So I'm going to get started on that. Um, again, you just do a first layer of just the clear. And then you make sure it goes to all the points. And then if there's any bubbles, you could take the bubbles out too. You can either use a brush or your little, it's a mixing tool, but it's got a nice point on it. So you can get the bubbles out with that. And then we'll just cure this for the 30 seconds. Actually, it was 60 seconds. I'm sorry. Uh, for 60 seconds. Be back in a moment. Okay, now the second one is done curing. And we can remove it from the mold. There it is. So now you have the two gold. And we'll just set those aside. 
and then we'll work on the silver and oops we got it upside down there it is um, so just do a small layer first layer in clear spread it to the edges And it goes in for 60 seconds. And then we will get our foil ready and our micro beads. So for the silver now, we're going, since it's two earrings, uh, we're going to make two for each earring. So we need four in total. So I'll show you how to make the first one. It's the exact same way as doing the um, the gold. But this time you can get everything out and ready. I don't know why these are clumped together, but might have gotten a little bit of resin in there, but it's fine. They'll come apart. Okay, it's almost done. out do the second layer of clear and then we'll put some some of the beads in see they just come apart clump together they're fine And then you could also, you know, spread them around. And then you can use your foil next. That in there. Now with the foil, you just break off small pieces and then just put them right into the resin. And just try to get you know a small piece in each of the star points and then get a nice piece in the center and then you can add oops, this is really sticking to me you can add more beads on the corners Okay, and then we'll cure this for 120 seconds and then on the back we will cure it for another 90 seconds all right now that it's cured I can remove it and then this is the silver and then I'll show you next to the gold so now I'm going to be making the next
Okay, now that we have all the pieces, we're going to do the chain next. So I have some gold chain. You can use whatever color if you want to use just the gold or if you just want to use silver, that's fine. I'm going to use both as soon as I get this untangled. Oh, there we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a tassel. Huh. Oh my goodness. Out of the chain. Now I was just going to, what you can do is just take the back of this. We're just going to cut the chain. We're not going to work on it yet. We still have to put the earrings together, but I just want to get the chain ready. So, um, you can determine how long you'd like the tassel. So that is about, that is about two inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two of each color. Um, so, let's see. Now you can, this is a very fine chain, so you can cut it with scissors or if you have some flush cutters, you can cut it with those. Now you may be off a little bit, which is fine, because once they're attached to the earring, you can cut them so they're all the same size. But it's good to try to get them at first at the two inches. You could do them longer too, if you're not sure like how long you'd like them. But. And I'll show you that you can cut them with scissors too. So if you just have a small pair of scissors, you can just cut them with those. Okay, so that will be our tassel. So we have those ready. Now if you want more, you can do more. I'm just taking a look really quick because I think I might want six of them hanging. Uh, no, that would be fine. If you want six, that's fine too. Just gives it a little bit, you know, extra and it'll look really nice. All right. So since we cut these, we'll set those aside. I also want to mention that you can just attach the chain to the back of these or I'm using a jump ring to attach all the chains first so they're all connected. And then I'm just going to secure it with the resin. So if you have two jump rings, that'll work really great. So take your um, silicone pad. Now I got this with that set that I recommended. I love it. It's a thicker silicone. So let's see, I want to put them like that and then just, you know, attach just the corners. Oops, dropped it. Um, just attach the corners like so. I might have to move that over that and like that and then what you can do is you can either put on another piece of silicone you can put your UV resin directly on that um, but you only need a little dab and I'm just putting it in a cup in my mixing bowls and I'm just going to take just a little 
and then just dab it into those edges there. Now you might have to readjust them, but just get a little bit of resin in there so it'll hold together. Oops. Okay. And then just adjust if you need to. I don't really think, I think they're fine. Okay. Set that aside and then you can move it with your finger under your UV light. And I'm doing it for 90 seconds. You can probably do it for 60, it'll work with 60. I'm just getting some pieces ready for the next steps. Okay, and we'll be right back when that's done curing. Okay, that's done curing, and then you can just take them off. See how nice? All right, so just keep that there. And you'll need your jump rings, or if you want, you can just directly apply your chains to this you can just put a dab of the silicone and then just place each chain like so you can do that I'm using a jump ring so you could do all four like that but just remember just have them alternate so with the jump ring I'm going to use pliers you can use tweezers too to open and close these. I'm just going to open a little. And this can get tricky because <laughs> if you're like me and you can't see, it's really sometimes hard when they're just very small like this to get them onto the jump ring. So, you know, and I can already see that they're not really lining up as far as the length so we'll trim those afterwards but we'll do each one now remember when you cut them you need four gold and four uh, silver for each earring and then you just make sure you close it up And then that will be your tassel. And like I said, you can add more if you'd like. Um, okay. Well, let me do the other tassel first. Now, on the second tassel, um, if you started with silver, well, no matter what, it's going to end up the same, but you want them to hang um, opposite for each earring. So I'll put the silver on. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Then we attach them. And again, I'm having problems putting them on. <laughs> Ugh. They're just so tiny. Close it up. Oops, I'm sorry if I went off camera. Okay. So we have the two tassels ready. So just put in these like so. And this is the back of the earring. 
So what you want to do is, okay, so if you have the gold facing in on this side, you could just, here, oops. You know, sometimes I forget things, but I just want to put just a touch, just a touch of resin. It's just a small amount. And then I'm going to use this to help me put this on there. Okay. Okay, so if you have the gold facing inward on this one, then you would want the gold facing inward on this one. So it's kind of like, you know, when you have your earrings, there's always opposites. So we'll just take that and we'll cure that for 60 seconds and then we'll be right back. Okay, now that's done curing. And those are secure on there. So next what we're going to do is just add a little resin on top of that and just kind of get your chains out of the way so it, they don't get stuck so just kind of like set them kind of underneath or you can just do this I would just set them underneath Oops. so that they hang down like that just for a second and then what we're going to do is take a little bit of that resin that we had in here and then just go over this to secure it just a touch more and try to stay away from the chain you don't want to get it on the chain and then you can do the same here here Now remember, don't get it on the chain. And then you can also like get those edges where we put it together and can just add another little layer onto that. Just do it ever so gently so that it doesn't spill over onto the chain. Okay. Alright. So now we'll just slip that in for, I'll say 90 seconds for this one because you just want it to cure really well. Alright, now that that's done curing, you'll need your earring posts. Now they have little backs on them. You need to take those off and set those aside for later. And where your jump ring is or where your chain is connected, oops, we'll need just a little bit more resin in here. Well, you can put just a dab on there, but I just wanna make sure I don't put too much. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in this cup and I'm just gonna put it right in this area and then I'm going to put the back of the earring on like so And slide that under and then do that for 60 seconds we're going to cure it for 60 seconds and then we're going to put another layer of resin over that okay I'll be right back when it's done curing okay now that that's done curing we do need to add a little bit more you'll go around Try not to let it run over the edges, but you'll go over the um, the post. <laughs> it's 
like, where are my brains today? I can't even think. So that that's just more secure. And we'll just do it on the one where the post is. My post moved just a little bit on the one earring, but I'm just adding more UV resin, the clear, just so that it it's secure. Does this one move just a bit? Okay. And then we'll cure that for, I would say, another 90 seconds, or you could do 120 seconds just to make sure it's secure. So they're done curing. And this is what they look like. Now, let me see. On this one, I knew it leaked a little bit over the edges. So this particular star looks a little funky, which is not a problem because all you need is a Dremel and a little bit. And then I'm going to have to move this out of the way. And what you can do is, if it does do that, we can just file it down. Or you could use a file, too, to do this. You could use this, and then just be careful to keep your star shape. Keep it on low. Or if you have a file, you can just file it. Take your time doing it because you don't want to mess up the star. So just take your time, file it down to so it looks like these stars here, and then I'll show you what you can do to fix it. Okay, so I'm done filing it down, and you can see it's not so pretty. So what we're going to do next is I have this little piece, it's a glass tile, and I have some sticky tack, um, and I'm just going to place it on there. I'm trying to... I'm actually putting the um, post right into the sticky tack. And then with a little bit of resin, I'm just going to just gently go over what I had filed down. You know, I did the edges a little, so just do a little bit. The edges. And you can do the silver stars also. Just give them just a little bit extra there. Make them shine really well. Now you didn't do the edges on, on the silver stars, so all you have to do is just go over with a little bit of the resin and then just take a close look and then just, there we go. And you could do it to the other pair too if you'd like just so that they match as far as being shiny. So we'll just do a little bit here, just a little on top. Just make sure you coat the entire surface so it doesn't look kind of funny. But when you do an extra coat, it'll actually make it look really super shiny. And I'm going to cure this for 120 seconds. So just shove it in there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get it in there. Okay, so 120 seconds on that, and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. 
Okay, here they are after they're fixed. <laughs> Hopefully you won't have to go through that extra step and they'll just come out okay. Just be very careful when you're connecting them not to put too much because then it'll seep through and, and mess it up. So, let's see, move this aside. And also check your length. We got different lengths there. So we'll just take them and just trim them off so they're all the same length. It's just a couple extra links, so it's not really that bad. For some reason, my clippers don't want to work with me here. And I didn't clip it. So we'll just use the scissors. Oh, that one didn't cut it. Oops. All right. All right, those are the same length. And that's all you need to do. Just hold them securely. And then you can just clip off the ones that are just a wee bit too long. And I did those a little bit long. I don't know why they don't want to cooperate no nope, they're not cooperating I might need some new ones there we go okay there oh, we still got a couple that are long And then we have, let me show you, nice pair of holiday earrings. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell for further notifications of any of my upcoming videos. If you'd like to see any of my artwork or my photography or even some of my jewelry, check out the links below in the description box. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.